Hello traders and welcome to FXDD webinar. Today is February 28th. My name is Nanad, full-time professional trader and your mentor. So today I will show you five different types of divergence and how you can trade the divergence. Before we start, as always, quick risk disclaimer explaining that foreign exchange trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. Please inform yourself about all the risks associated with forex trading and have in mind that everything you see and hear today is my personal opinion only. Also, you can use these addresses to sign up for more webinars, live trading and live education. I uh, invite you to come to see how I trade on LiveFXDD account and feel free to join. It's, of course, free for all. So today's agenda is what is a divergence, five different types of divergence, which divergence to trade and how to trade the divergence. Uh, contrary to many opinions, this is not at, as easy as it seems. And we always need to know when to trade, not to blindly enter a trade, to chase the trade, but we need to follow the rules religiously. Only if you follow the rules and strict money management, you can succeed in Forex trading. So basically, what is a divergence? Uh, the easiest definition for me of divergence is that when indicator and the price itself are in disagreement. So it means that the price itself goes one way and literally a histogram or an indicator goes other way. Uh, contrary to many opinions, the divergence is not only used with MACD. You can use it with every other histogram. So we can use it also with RSI. We can use it with CCI, Commodity Channel Index, and tons of different indicators. Uh, I personally am sticking to MACD because I also trade my own uh, trading strategy. Uh, named uh, Camarilla MACD. So uh, I prefer to trade uh, divergence uh, with MACD indicator. Of course, uh, also have in mind that divergence is also uh, where the price and set of relevant indicators, as I mentioned, MACD are moving in opposite directions. So it's easiest for you to follow. Price goes up, the indicator goes down, or vice versa. Price goes down, the indicator goes up. But there are five different types of divergence that I will explain during the webinar. Of course, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Feel free to ask me whatever is not clear, uh, I will explain. So divergence is also an indication of a reversal or a continuity or a continuation. More often it's reversal, but have in mind that regular divergence is always the uh, reversal, uh, hidden divergence is always continuation. That is how we need to treat it. So for counter trend trades, we use uh, regular divergence. For trend trades or scaling into a position, we can use hidden divergence. Divergence, when we talk about regular divergence, uh, we usually say that it is an earliest indication of a possible reversal. Also, it can be a good sign to exit a position or a good sign to actually scale into a position. Uh, the problem with divergence is that the price usually tends to respect it initially, but then it can turn the other way. So in my opinion, you need to respect the set of rules before trading divergence and you need to follow the rules step by step. I will tell you, of course, during, uh, during the, the webinar, I will explain you how you can actually uh, trade the divergence with a set of rules that I will go step by step. And we will try to spot divergence real time, of course, on live chart. Divergence also means that you will be usually buying near the bottom or selling near the top. By buying near the bottom or selling the, near the top, you're actually following a smart money. It means that uh, you will usually join 
before it's not too late. Uh, there are many systems that will tell you to buy or sell uh, the price when market has already moved in a single direction. If you use divergence, you will usually avoid selling or buying the currency pair or a market uh, when it's too late. So you will be joining that first most important ride. I'm, I'm calling that smart money. And that will make your risk on trades very small relative to your potential reward. Okay, now what are actually different, different types of divergence? Those are regular bullish divergence, hidden bullish divergence, regular bearish divergence, hidden bearish divergence, and so-called reverse divergence. Reverse divergence is actually uh, something different. And I will explain also what is a reverse divergence. It's a different type, uh, similar to uh, regular divergence, but it's still in a way different, but it's tradable. And don't forget also that hidden divergence is a trend continuation type, while regular divergence is a reversal type. Now, regular bullish divergence is the most frequent, and it usually is considered a sign of trend reversal. If price is making lower lows, but the oscillator is making higher lows, this is considered to be regular bullish divergence. We don't need a series of lower lows. We need just one low to be lower than the previous low. So you don't need to see a series of lows. It's only one low before you actually spot a divergence. And usually it's found near the bottoms. This is how it looks. This is the price, okay? And this is the indicator. So the price made a lower low, while the indicator made a higher low. You have like a form of some, let's say, triangle. See, so price is uh, making a lower low, while the indicator at the same time is making a higher low. It's very important that you understand that uh, both market and, and indicator need to be in alignment. So when market makes a lower low, you need to spot a higher low on the indicator at the same time, at the same spot. That is why it's always useful to draw a vertical line. I will show you that also in practical example. Hidden bullish divergence is usually a trend following type of divergence. It happens when price is making a high low, but the oscillator is showing a lower low. And this can usually be seen when pair is in an uptrend. Hidden bullish divergence hints to the chart continuing to go up. This is a hidden bullish divergence okay once more you can uh, capture the screenshot but this webinar is recorded and it will be uploaded so here it is the market the price is going up it, it made a high low but at the same time the indicator is making a lower low and this looks like some sort of megaphone if you compare it like you see like the price is actually going like a megaphone okay so the price is making a high low at the same time the indicator is making a low low this is a hidden bullish divergence now regular bearish divergence is also very frequent and it's usually considered a sign of trend reversal if the price is making a higher high but the oscillator is making a lower high then you have a regular bearish divergence it can be found near the tops this is how it looks like some sort of a megaphone pattern you see, but actually the price is going down. So a higher high on the price, while at the same time, a lower high on the indicator. So this is uh, some uh, the type of divergence that you are interested to trade always, guys, when price is close to the top. If you want to go counter trend, this is what you should follow because my counter trend trades are always made by spotting a divergence first, then following another set of rules that tells me how I can trade the divergence. Why am I saying this? Because it doesn't mean always if that a divergence is present, 
that the price will continue to go in a single direction or it will reverse. There are some other things that need to be aligned with the divergence if you want to pull, buy or a sell trigger. You cannot just blindly trade divergence. If you do it, believe me, guys, you will lose. So you need to have other rules that I will explain if you want to be profitable by trading divergence. And finally, guys, regarding these standard divergence, we have hidden bearish divergence. That is usually a trend following type of divergence. Hidden bearish divergence usually happens when price makes a lower high, but the oscillator is making a higher high. And this can be usually seen when pair is in a downtrend. A hidden bearish divergence hints to the chart continuing to go down. So the price is making a lower high while the indicator is making a higher high. So this is, guys, hidden bearish divergence. As I already said at the beginning, hidden bearish divergence is a regular type of, uh, is uh, actually trend following type of divergence and you trade it within a trend concept, not if you want to go counter trend. Remember, once more, this is very important because I have been listening to uh, totally nonsense things about divergence. A few traders told me that when they see hidden divergence, they go uh, counter, the counter, they are countering the trend. It's false. Remember, guys, it's totally false. Hidden type of divergence is trend continuation, not reversal. Only regular divergence is a reversal type. And once more reverse divergence, that is a special type of divergence. Exaggerated or reverse divergence, can uh, bearish divergence, can be found at the top of the larger move. And exaggerated bullish divergence can be found at the bottom of the larger move. Reverse divergence is a special type of divergence, and you also trade it with a counter trend perspective, not a trend perspective, but rather a counter trend perspective. So pay attention, guys, to regular divergence uh, for counter trends, hidden divergence for uh, trend trend uh, for trend uh, uh, trades and reverse divergence for counter trend trade setups. This is how it looks. Usually we will see a double bottom. This is exaggerated bearish divergence. We will see a double bottom and on the price and a much lower high on the indicator itself. So it looks like this, a double bottom here, or this is top actually, double top and much lower high, okay? Much lower high. So double top and much lower high, okay? This is how it looks, like this. Yeah, I see the lines, so basically follow the lines. Double top on the price, much lower high on the oscillator itself. Okay, so this is exaggerated bearish divergence. Also, guys, uh, for exaggerated bullish divergence, you will have a, you will actually have a double bottom here and much higher high. And this is a spreadsheet that you might want to use. But as I already said, uh, most of the time you will be going with regular divergence because that is what traders are also very very interested at. To uh, especially traders who want to trade counter the trend, so. Price makes a big spike, you want to short it. Where to short it? Of course, if and only if you see a divergence, not blindly short it because you saw a bearish pattern and you think, okay, now is the time to short. No, you need to see divergence. That is how I do it. Now, this is a live chart and we'll again show you how it looks. And keep in mind, guys, that on this account here, uh, I also do uh, live uh, trading webinars with live setups. So here you can see uh, the account that I started from ten thousand dollars. Now it's ten thousand seven hundred and sixty-one. Only with 
uh, trading with FXDD on my live trading webinars. Okay, so let's try, guys, to spot emergence. I'm also following my other monitors to see if I have any questions here regarding uh, this webinar. Of course, if anything is not clear, guys, just go ahead and ask me. I will definitely explain. So let's try to spot the divergence real time. So I didn't cherry pick anything uh, just by practicing. And when you have, uh, let's say, years of, of experience in the market, uh, you also will be able to spot divergence without any special indicators or, uh, you know, without any, any uh, hassle. So let's try to see. Uh, I see. Uh, yeah okay guys we can see reverse divergence here okay here it is and the price up so reverse divergence here yeah i will i will use this example i will just show you now divergence of the chart and then i will explain you how to trade it so you see reverse divergence let's move on okay uh we will try to spot also some nice uh, regular divergence or uh, some uh, hidden divergence. I would be focusing on regular because those are divergence uh, type, types of divergence that you want to trade. Here it is. Regular bullish divergence, guys. So this is it. From this spot to this spot. The same spot you need to use for the oscillator, OK? This is it. You see, that is why you need to be very precise. The same spots on the indicator, guys, and the same spots here, okay, on the price, okay? Those tops and bottoms. In this example, okay, we see a lower low, and at the same spot, we see actually a form of a uh, higher low so this is guys a regular uh, bullish divergence and you see how the price is following the divergence so try to memorize uh, this what i'm uh, speaking what i'm talking about and try to practice finding the divergence for the first time now let's see how we will trade it there are two ways to trade it first of all guys use pivot points let's say that we will use these pivot points i don't have his historical but let's see maybe i can find uh here a historical pivot points i think i have it i can make it to look much better like this okay historical pivot points so in this example we can see that at this spot this was very close to l5 l5 is a major a weekly support so this the price has come uh, had come to actually very very close to this uh weekly l5 support so this qualifies for a nice counter trend uh possibilities for uh, divergence trading price needs to go to extremes i always use camarilla pivots so uh by trading with fxdd if you have of course a live account uh send us an email and send me an email and i will give you a free Camarilla indicator that also shows historical levels and, of course, current levels. But you need to have and you need to trade with FXDD. It's important. Those are our partners, guys. So trusted brokers. So uh, definitely this is what uh, I think is one of the strongest things in Forex trading. Price goes to extremes. You spotted the divergence and you wait for the rules to happen in order to trade. Next rule is you either trade a trend line break or make the cross. So draw a trend line. This is divergence. This is the extreme. L5 is the extreme. If you use other pivot points, price needs to drop to the very close to the extreme. So it should be like uh, R3 resistance or R3 or S3 support. Depending on your uh, pivot point indicator, price needs to go to its highest and low, or, low, or lowest point. Then the price qualifies for divergence. So you put a trend line like this, okay? And you iterate for 
MACD cross or trend line break. MACD cross happened at this spot. Also, you see that trend line has been broken just a little bit later. So whatever happens first, that is how I do it. Al is asking, please, how do you confirm the divergence is active? By doing this trend line, only this trend line, okay? And you see the price is still making at, at this spot a higher low. You see where the price went. This was a higher low and this histogram went up. So it's another higher low. But you need to see the trend line or make the cross. So this is divergence. We spotted it here at this spot. I will mark it. Uh, okay. I will try to uh, make it uh, a little bit more pronounced. Okay. So uh, visualization. Uh, let's see the blue. I will use blue color and I will put this like this. Okay. Also here, blue color. Okay, so you see, this is divergence. You have a trend line and make the cross, whatever happens first. So in this example, we see that the make the cross actually happened first. And this is where we go with the long trade. You see, this was it. Let's find other uh, divergence example. Okay, uh -huh. well, uh, I think this is it. Let's see. We have a uh, lower low the same spot guys here you need to use the same spots yes this is divergence here you see now the trend line just connect the tops here okay and make the cross actually happened first again this was it MACD cross at this spot. So this is where divergence entry is made. You see, MACD cross, we can remove these lines. So MACD cross happened here, trend line break happened here. And let's say this was the extreme price. Yes, again, you see L5, it says L5 on the chart. So again, the price was at its extremes, and then you waited for either a trend line break or make the cross, whichever happens first. And you just pull a buy trigger. Uh, let's see if we have some other example. Guys, if anything is not clear, uh, please do not hesitate to ask me. Uh, I, uh, I want you to understand this. Okay, we have another type of divergence bearish divergence this is it here and this is for beginners it's very useful so this looks yeah this is okay qualified for a bearish divergence trend line break oh this is actually i think make the cross happened first again yes make the cross happened here so you trade it here and if the price was at its extremes you see h5 so again h5 this is the most prominent projected sweet high on camera period here h5 divergence bang macd cross and you take the trade actually here when macd cross to the downside let's find another example i'm scanning guys real time didn't cherry pick the chart I think we have it here. So step by step, guys, this will be easy. Forex is excellent thing. You just need to be calm. You need to know what uh, you're doing and relax, guys. Believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm into this business 100%. And the only thing that I want to tell you is the truth about Forex market. I really don't care about blah blahs and theories the point of this is to make money nothing else just forget all the theory crap okay this is it again divergence you see the price made a higher high the oscillator made a lower high and regular bearish divergence trend line break 
happened actually first this is where you trade it and this is it basically you just use divergence to trade for hidden it's also the same find a hidden divergence place a trend line and you go with the trend for counter trend as i showed you here use these five types of divergence guys to your advantage i don't think that uh, there will be any problems if you just take your time scan the charts try to see how it behaves and use either a trend line break or MACD cross you might experiment with other uh, indicators such as cci rsi uh, other other tools for spotting the divergence but really for me MACD is enough i don't use anything else really i mean guys keep it simple you don't need to have very complicated charts to be profitable believe me if you have any questions guys feel free to ask me once more this is a divergence cheat sheet you also use exaggerated divergence no problem at all but most of the time you will be using actually uh, regular divergence because that is a uh, divergence that gives us a counter trend trade possibilities uh, if anything is not clear again feel free to leave a comment below the video uh, the video is being recorded it will be uploaded to youtube uh, my name is Nenad. Uh, i'm here to help you out so guys just ask and i will reply so i think that everything is clear i don't see any questions so i wish you a great trading day try to practice divergence because this is not the first time we are talking about divergence and next time we will be using more advanced techniques for trading also on higher time frames for determining the trend uh or trend reversal with divergences but that is a story for another time in order to do that properly first you need to do this and we go step by step thank you for listening have a great day talk to you soon cheers everyone trade safe